We're looking at homework from section 2.3. This is question number 23. During a quality assurance check, the actual contents in grams of six containers of protein powder were recorded as 1533, 1532, 1503, 1513, 1534, and 1511. A. Find the mean and the median of the contents. B. The third value is incorrectly measured and is actually 1516. Find the mean and the median of the contents again. And then finally C. Which measure of central tendency, the mean or the median, was affected more by the data entry error? So we'll start with part A, finding the mean and median. To find the mean, I use the formula sigma of x over n, which is the sum of the x values over the number of data entries. So I add up those six data entries and then divide by six. Adding those six entries gives me 9126. And 9126 divided by six is 1521. So the mean here is 1521. For the median, I need to arrange my data set in order. So if I were to order the data set, it would be 1503, 1511, 1513, 1532, 1533, and 1534. We can see we have an even number of data entries, so to find the mean, we have to take the average of the two central entries, which are 1513 and 1532. We add them together and divide by two, and get 1522.5. So that's our median. That's part A. In part B, we're told that the third value was incorrectly measured. That would be the 1503, and that it was actually supposed to be 1516. So we're going to go ahead and redo this problem, changing the 1503 to a 1516. So in that mean formula, we'll see the exact same thing, but you'll notice when I wrote my numbers in the numerator, there's a number in red, 1516. That's the 1503 that's being replaced. So when we add those together, we get 9139, and when we divide that by 6, we get 1523.16666666. But since it says to round off to a single decimal, we're getting 1523.2. Then when we compute the median, when we put these data values in order, originally the 1503 was the lowest value. But when it changed to 1516, that changed its position in this lineup. So now it's one of the two central entries. And when we compute the median, we add those two central entries and divide by 2, which gives us 3048 divided by 2, which is 1524. So that's our median in part B. In part C, we're asked which measure of central tendency, the mean or the median, was affected more by this error. So for the mean, we started with the value of 1521, and it changed when we changed the value to 1523.2. That's an increase of 2.2. For the median, we started with a value of 1522.5, and that changed to become 1524. That's also an increase, an increase of 1.5. So which one was affected more? The mean was affected more by the error because it increased by slightly more than the median did. And that's your answer.